Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over some horse racing values for the day. We already missed the first race. Um, I just got busy, and uh, I just wanted to get these up for you. Uh, again, there's no NBA today uh, for the next like several days, so I'm going to try to keep some videos going. Uh, and if we do have some horse racing values, um, I will throw them up here. Now, again, this is currently free, and for the last I guess a year I've been threatening to make this premium, but I just don't, I just don't have, uh, I'm a little lazy to figure out how to do it. Um, it's, it's fun though. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. It is, it is by far the best EV you'll get from me if, if with anything that I do. Like if I gave you, well, maybe I, maybe if I gave you my, my, my hedge fund picks, um, my, my, my stock market stuff, maybe, but, but aside from that, this is where you're going to get the most EV. Listen, listen, I'm pretty good at DFS and helping you there and back with poker or whatever. But this is what I've been doing for a long time. And um, as long as you guys aren't ruining my price, um, which you aren't, I have no problem, especially for true DFS people that follow these videos just to get access to this kind of stuff. I'm not going to get into my whole history with horse race betting or anything like that. That's for another time. But let's let's just suffice it to say that if you if you put in everything that I put in, um, and obviously you have to be a little bit price sensitive, you're going to have an incredible long run advantage. Now, again, the long runs a long time, um, but uh, I certainly, I won't say guarantee, but you're, you're going to do better than if you did it on your own. That's for sure. And again, if you want to kind of diversify your, your degen portfolio, so to speak, especially when NBA is off in the next five days um, or whatever, I mean, uh, it's, it's kind of a fun sweat. Um, Again, the usual disclaimers, I would not bet anything until like two minutes to post time. You just, you have to be price sensitive. And I'm going to do my best to tell you what prices you should be, you know, looking for, but uh, I'm not going to be around to take you through the day. Um, so we're going to look at Gulfstream and and uh, Santa Anita at Aqueduct. I guess we'll start with Gulfstream is chronologically. And we'll just go through this. Um Again, I'm not getting into how I go make all these selections or anything like that. That's again, maybe for another, maybe for another day. Um, so we're going to start with race two, uh, race two at Gulfstream. And again, even if there's no bet, I'm just going to blast through these. Um, hold on, yeah. So in in race two, uh, if you even see this in time, I think the three is a very legitimate favorite. So I probably wouldn't bet this, but the one promotion is pretty is not bad for second. You want to try that, but overall, it's probably not a great betting race. Uh, race number three, three and the five seem both reasonable, and they're a little kind of chalky, so probably not going to do much there. Okay, so race four is some pretty, pretty strong value. The three, Robin taking charge, and the eight, Benelux. Uh, they're both 30 to one and 20 to one. I, I would think that they both win the race probably 10% of the time. So you're getting a good amount of value on them. Um, so I would definitely use either or both of them. And the third horse I might consider is, is the shorter Bourbon Thunder, but the big value there is the three Robin taking charge and, um, and uh, eight Benelux. Race number five, the favorite there is okay. The six, but it's not unbeatable. And I'm probably going to try to beat it with these three horses, the three, the four, and the five. Um, hazardous humor, charge account, exclusive Molly. All three of them are pretty decent prices, 12 to 1, 6 to 1, 6 to 1. If they're even approaching that, I would definitely use them. And again, if you want to, you know, play some bombs and, you know, you could play race four, the doubles with the three and the eight, and then race five with the three, four, and five. You might even want to throw the six in just in case the three and the eight get there in race four. You don't want to get a 25 to one shot come in and you have nothing. So uh, maybe use the six as well with just the three and the five, uh, three and the eight from race four. But if you're going to start stuff here, I would only use the three, four, and the five. Uh, race number six, I think the seven is extremely strong at eight to one. I don't know if you're actually going to get eight to one, but if you do, I mean, this is extremely extreme value here. The two favorites, uh, well, actually, my next two horses are not even the favorite. Uh, they're Fredo at five to one and Happy Runner at seven to two. So you could bet the guaranteed spec, the seven with a three, five, and then play the five, three with a seven and be well within your rights. Um, you can box three, five and seven if you want. I mean, I don't like this four. 
I mean, Pletcher always is the guy who kind of makes me look stupid when I throw him out, but nonetheless, um, I don't like him. And I'm the Chad Brown is the other trainer who always looks over bet and yet still seems to do it, but I'm throwing both of those out. So seven best, best, uh, best value along with three and the five. Um, race number seven, uh, I think Awesome Man Marie is okay. Tua T is okay. And then if you want, so this is Adios Baby, I thought was all right also. But if you want to throw in Dignified, just even like maybe to get second, um, I think that's uh, I think that's reasonable. Um, it's definitely not as likely to win as three, four, and the eight, but I, I think he should uh, he should get in there uh, at thirty to one. Um, probably use him in exactors or trifectas, but overall, pretty chalky race. Race eight, nothing, pretty much all. Race number nine, I, the six is going to be really super short. If you want to try something, you could play the seven um, at eight to one. I don't even think it's going to be eight to one, but if, if whatever reason you get all this runaway money on the six and these ends up like one to nine or something, which is possible. Um, I think a seven could end up really good value here. So maybe just bet the seven, six exact or something like that. Don't bet six, seven, that really won't pay anything, but I think a seven could be a reasonable, reasonable uh, pivot off of the six here. And that's pretty much for uh, it for Gulfstream. From next uh, uh, chronologically aqueduct, um race number one nothing basically all race number two nothing basically all race three i think it was nothing as well 78 were reasonable i thought one and two were okay but really nothing to bet there race four nothing a race five i guess so risk-free is reasonable at six to one overall this card kind of stinks but Risk-free, I guess, is reasonable, along with the two favorites, seven and the eight. Um, I do make risk-free slightly the most likely winner. So if you had to bet something, well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I think the two's reasonable, six to one. Um, race six, nothing really. Race seven, the one to nine shot is going to win, that being the nine. And then race eight. Pretty much nothing as well. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, so Aqueduct's pretty pretty poor today. All right, um, Santa Anita. All right, so Santa Anita. I don't quite get this, but I'll just throw this out there. If these lines, these morning lines hold. I think C minus the three and the seven speaking Spanglish are just as good as any of these favorites. And listen, these are early early lines of 20 to 1 and 15 to 1. But I mean, even if you get 8 to 1 or 10 to 1 or something like that on 3 and the 7, I think that's pretty good value there. Race 2, pretty chalky. 2, 4, nothing to bet there. Race 3, pretty chalky. The, uh, the favorite's going to win there. The 3, race 4, don't really like much. Race 5, the 2, I guess, is solid enough at 4 to 1. I don't want to waste all your time with this, but I, I didn't want to go over it at least. So who's candy? I guess at four to one is reasonable. No reason to like remember to come back to bet this horse. But if you're around and you want to bet him, that's fine. But kiss is probably the most likely winner of race six at six to one. So like I said, if you're around, you know, and you want to bet these, you can. Um, but again, they're not incredible values, but they're good. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. I think they're, they're, they're good enough values to bet. Um, Race seven, I think this is a middling type of race. I think the four, five, and nine are better than the two favorites, if that helps. So if you want to play the four, five, and nine, you could do that. It's an abbreviated card, only seven races, so not a lot to choose from. But if you want, and if you're around, you want to play something at Santa Anita, you could play basically a pick three. You could play like the two, who's candy in race five. Then you could play, uh, what was it, race six, the one, Butkus, and then race eight play seven with the four five and nine and then you could kind of like stagger them like you could play just first the double two one like race five and six and one the two loses i mean if the two loses then you could then press and redo race six the one with the four five nine uh doubles and then when the one loses, i mean if the one loses then in race seven you could just box four five nine to try to get even if you want 
Um, but overall, I mean, not the greatest day, but there were a couple of good ones throughout the course of the day. And uh, uh, listen, if you want to get more DFS content, I urge you to be a true DFS premium member. Um, go to truedfs.com for more details. And if you want to wager using the same lucky software I use, uh, XB Select, you can sign up and use the premium code or promo code TrueDFS, and they'll probably give you something, either a $50 bonus or a, a bucket of popcorn or God knows what. I, I lost track. But that's pretty much it. Uh, good luck, everybody.